Right, some of you may remember um, I did a review on the, uh, the Council of the Vapour Stratos some time ago. And my basic conclusions were that whilst I thought this was a fantastic looking atomizer, and I still think that, I think it's a magnificent looking atomizer, the vape on it was awful. I constantly had dry burns. Um, I, I, it did the thing you just would not wick. Anyway, I popped into my local vape shop just the other day, and um, they were selling these along with um, some coils for a new atomizer that Council of the Vapour bought out, and that's called the Typhoon. Um, right, uh, so this is the uh, one of the original uh, Stratos coils in here, and this is actually a brand new one I purchased the same day, and I, I purchased it simply because was it a problem with the coils I had supplied with this device? Um, no, it was not a problem with the coils I had supplied with this device. Uh, it's still burnt. So um, anyway, I picked up some additional coils for the, the Typhoon atomizer to pop in this because it's like they fit. They're the same housing. So let me if I just uh, take this top, this drip tip off, and uh, I'll just remove the base. One moment. Oh, there we go. Let's get that started. Come on, so much screwing. Who would have thought it? Right. So yeah, in there we've got a, uh, a Typhoon coil. Now you can see the difference pretty much immediately. Um, if I just adjust the focus, because I'm bringing this closer to the camera. Right, one moment. That'll do me. So, as you can see, if you look down the, uh, the coil, it's actually on the base there, you can see it's a vertical coil. Now, on the original Stratos, that is a horizontal coil. Um, and I feel like I could, could not get this to wick. And there's also what appears to be a ceramic cup in there as well. Um, I did actually have one of these apart, but uh, you know, I was, you know it's, it was so, so long ago now, I actually can't remember exactly what was inside it. So, um, yeah. So, I'd like to report that um, with the Typhoon coils, this actually does vape better but not brilliantly still and the reason it isn't really that much better i mean i'm not getting any dry hits anymore so that in itself is is far better but um i'll worry about that bit in a minute um it's the airflow the airflow on this is quite pitiful to be honest you just can't get enough air, flu uh, air through it to get a real decent vape out of it. It's not bad. Uh, it's better than it was. Um, it's basically saved me from um, chucking this thing in the bin, if I've got to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, enough of the close up stuff. What we do, we'll go to a shot of me and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you performing. So there we go. So, this will be the, uh, the Stratos with a Typhoon coil in it. And uh, sit on top of a uh, DNA... 30 vapor shark here, and I'm currently vaping at 25 watts. And that is on its widest airflow setting. Ah, you know, I said in the uh, the Apicosi shots that I think the big problem with this atomizer is down to the airflow. Well, yeah, it is. It's, um, you know, it's very tight draw, uh, especially I've been used to using uh, more airy uh, tank atomizers more recently. But to be honest, as I suck an elephant for a straw, it's really hard work. But um, yeah, since I've put in this Typhoon coil, I've not gotten any any burnt hits, which is more than can be said for the uh, the stock coils it comes with. I mean, I treated it the same way. I put the brand new coil I bought the other day on on this. Uh, I filled this up. This is a 70% uh, PG juice, by the way, so it's pretty watery. I mean, you can see it just sloshing around in there quite heavily, and. Um, yeah, I, pr I primed the uh, the coil head and I gave it a vape and it was okay. I gave it a second vape and it was burnt. So I put my thumb over the air hole. I gave it a, dr a, a, a you know, a, a, you know, just just an inhale just to get a few bubbles up. And bubbles were coming up quite happily and no problems there. Took a vape, fine-ish. Not as good as it was when I primed it. And then the second one, burnt. Uh, I even put down the voltage... Um, you know, <clears throat> I well I put the voltage. I, I, I put it on a mechanical mod, so it's a uh, 
you know, three three point seven to four point two uh, volts. Uh, but it was four point two because it was pretty much fully charged. And uh, this is a zero point seven ohm core. No, sorry, a, a telelight. It was a zero point five ohm core that the other one was. This is what's in here now. Zero point seven. I'm making a right pig zero this, aren't I? Um, you know, and it was designed for their own mechanical mods and it was marketed as such as a tank where you can use a sub ohm coil on a straight mechanical and vapor away and frankly um, yeah my, my original verdict still stands the Stratos tank is one to avoid however if you do insist on buying one pick up some Typhoon coils of it it will make your life so much better But um, yeah, it vapes all right. It's a very tight draw. Uh, vapor reduction is is quite pitiful these days, really, considering the uh, the current state of play in the tanks. Flavor is good though. So if you're interested in the flavor more than your vapor, then this might be one to consider. But that's about the only real recommendation I can give. Anyway, so uh, there we go. That that wraps up my uh, my little revisit to the Stratos. Cheers.